Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a great day. I have some tips when it comes to compositing for you today. So here's my scene and I have these torches, but I don't want to do the fireballs coming out of these torches in Cinema 4D. I want to add those in um, After Effects. So I'll render out this scene right here and I'll bring it into After Effects and I'll go ahead and add some stock footage to these torches. So this scene is looking pretty good, but we can add a couple of things in Cinema 4D to make it even more realistic. And that is to do with the lighting because if you look at this torch, um, in real life, it would be casting light onto this cannon, and this torch would be casting light back onto this wooden piece. So it's not totally realistic. Um, so if you're going to be adding fire or anything like that in After Effects, you might want to set up your scene a little bit differently in Cinema 4D. And it's really simple. All you have to do is add an extra light and put it wherever you're going to be adding your flames in After Effects. So I just took a light and I placed it right above the torch and I made it a bit of a yellow color. And then under the details, I changed the fall off to inverse square, physically accurate. And I just gave it a little bit of a fall off so it's just affecting uh, the stuff that's just right around it. And that's gonna give you a much more realistic look uh, with the light sort of casting onto the 3D object. So we should have some of the yellow casting onto the cannon and onto this back piece. All right, so here's our final render, and it looks a little bit strange without the fire on here because you just have these yellow splotches in the background. But if we jump over into After Effects and it reloads, now you can see that we have a much more realistic look. It might be a little bit too yellow because these flames are more orange, but you get the idea that um, just by adding a light and a little bit of fall off and some color in Cinema 4D, it's gonna affect the surrounding scene uh, a lot more realistically. And let's just pull up our before and after. Here's the before and here's the after. So it definitely adds a nice little touch to that. And I also have this second shot here with a close up uh, just to show you a little bit more. Um, so I have the light position right by this cannonball and if you turn it off you can see that we're going to lose this really nice highlight on that cannonball so what i would do is i would put it right here and as i want this cannonball to shoot out i would just uh, keyframe up the intensity to have it pop on and then pop off and that's just going to add a really nice little touch you can see that if i isolate the render you have this really nice hot spot on that cannonball so anyway just a quick tip this is probably more of a beginner tip but if you're going to be compositing anything into after effects just think about kind of where the light is gonna cast and if there's any way that you can set it up better in Cinema 4D for a better result. So I hope that helps you guys out. Thank you as always for checking out the Pixel Lab and we'll talk to you next time. Ciao.